water supply upon the completion of the Adion 2 plant. Sonwolu made the remarks in a message to the 2021 Lagos International Water Conference held in Victoria Island, Lagos. The theme of the conference was Water Security and Investment Opportunities in Mega Cities, a case of Lagos State. Sonwolu, who was represented by his deputy, Dr. Bafemi Hamzat, said that the Adinyo 2 plant is expected to contribute additional 70 million gallons per day to the already existing water capacity. The challenge still remains how to make our people less vulnerable to poor sanitation, how to expand water and water services, and how to maximize the investment opportunity in the water sector, which is why this water conference is integral to shaping and wastewater management. We are propelled by our concern for the well-being of our people to make the water sector economically viable but we will not put economic gains above the health of Lagosians. As a demonstration of our commitment to affordable and sustainable clean water supply, as you know, we have also signed a three-year memorandum of understanding with Water Aid, and I think one of their leaders actually came here to give the rule method on capacity building for improved regulation and expansion of clean water access. Administration has expended resources on the facilities and were delighted that the plant will bring additional 70 MGD to the already existing water capacity. Oh, it is going to help because we still need more. Just That is just the first phase because we are still going to do more. Because if you look at the two projects, it's only going to take part of the Lagos East project. If you look at Lagos East, we are talking of Ikorodu, we are talking of uh, um, Ekwe and several other places, and also part of the Lagos West, which is going towards the Paja and I move all the inside. Those are the, I mean, that's what are the two projects will, 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 will take care of. So there are other places who are also, that are also expanding. So we also need to respond and provide water for, for, for those places also. So and we are at it at the moment. The President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, says the leaking roof of the White House in the National Assembly during a heavy downpour is a clear vindication on the part of the Parliament over the general decay of the Assembly complex. The matter came up again on the floor of the Parliament during plenary. Deputy Chief Whip Abdullah Isabi raised a point of order querying some news reports that followed the incident. The lawmaker complained that some news reports have brought about misconceptions in the public space which has made it necessary to set the record straight. Let me advise the media. Uh, this is irresponsible, I must say, because seek the truth, investigate properly, come to us, or go to those who you think should know better before you compile and send your report. The fact that there was a leakage, to me, is a clear testimony, confirmation, and vindication of the position the National Assembly took initially. By the time we came into office by the grace of God and your endorsement, the Speaker and I found it necessary to go around this complex and we found out the lapidation and degradation. In fact, anyone who sees what we have here knows that this place is overdue for rehabilitation. In his remarks, the Senate President said that the renovation of the national